Hey guys, this is John, the Southern Cyclist, with my final episode of the Linsky Helix Pro build out and review. I've got about 80 miles so far on the bike and I thought I'd give my impressions and my opinion so far. So what was my game plan for this build? I wanted to create a bike that was unique, was comfortable and fast, and I think the Linsky Pro filled that niche. The Helix Pro has strength and speed with good looks and it's wrapped in an amazing package. And to me, what is important, it's made in the US just up the road from me in Chattanooga, Tennessee. The diamond shaped top tube is noticeable, making the front end stiff and creating amazingly agile handling in combination with a tapered head tube. The twisted 3AL 2.5V down tube creates added stiffness without compromising that almost magical vibration absorption that the Helix Pro really has. The twisted seat stays were definitely noticeable when climbing out of the saddle and helped with power transfer during sprints. And it just has an amazing look to it. I'm very pleased with the looks. So let's talk about the weight. The Helix Pro came in at 16.8 pounds, which is 7.6 kilograms, versus my Canyon Air Road CF SLX DI2 and my Pinarello Dogma K8 DI2. Those both came in at 15.8 pounds, or 7.2 kilograms, so not far off of those builds. Construction. The welds are flawless. It's a work of art to look at. The finish is just beautiful. I went with the industrial milled finish and it was well worth the additional amount. The clover design and the distal seat stays are such a neat addition and I really like the English threaded bottom bracket. It was obvious that the design and construction were well thought out and are indeed before going to production. The components on the build were the Shimano Ultegra mechanical group set, as well as a 5236 chain ring and 1132 cassette. I use Zip 30 wheels, which are aluminum and bomb proof, and they ride amazingly well. I use the NV fork, which works harmoniously with the frame and geometry, complementing the th frame ride and enhancing the cornering and road dampening effects. I used a 3T or Nova Team Stealth handlebar, which is a great combination with the NV fork and Helix frame. Finally, I went with the Physique Arion VSX saddle and Physique bar tape. The ride. The Linsky Helix Pro absorbs road vibrations in almost a magical way. Definitely the feel is still, but with the rigidity and spring of titanium, which in my opinion, falls between carbon and aluminum. There's vertical compliance, but torsional rigidity. When I get out of the saddle and hammer, the frame does not flex like steel. It is surprising as I almost expect the flex of steel due to the vertical compliant, but it's just not there. I am supremely confident on descents with the Helix Pro. It tracks like its own rails and is a joy on descents begging to go faster. It, this is truly a bright spot. It has all day long comfort. I can easily spend 100 miles on the Helix. The road dampening in combination with a spirited ride creates a feel of freshness that would be welcome on any Grand Fondo. The Helix Pro is nimble, but not twitchy. I can flip the bike from corner to corner with ease and not feel like I overshoot the corner. This can be a tough area to master, but they nailed it. For my sprinting style, I would say it does not quite snap as quickly as some of my other bikes on acceleration, but I'm running aluminum wheels, which contributes to this. But on the other end, as I enter a hill at speed, it holds that speed up the hill amazingly well before I have to shift down. Climbing was a joy. I was genuinely impressed with the climbing of the Helix Pro. The geometry was set up nicely for climbing and the bike sprang forward with every pedal stroke. In conclusion, the Linsky Helix Pro is an amazing combination of hand-built craftsmanship, cutting edge performance, and uniqueness that the Grand Fondo cyclist looks for. I was amazed at the descending capabilities and road vibration absorption in combination with the stiffness that should not exist based on the road compliance, but does. I am extremely happy with the Linsky Helix Pro and plan on taking it for many an adventure. Please stay tuned for my long-term review. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Thanks for watching The Southern Cyclist, and I will see you down the road.